Oscar Lowy, based on the railway series by the Reverend W. Audrey. This is a story about Scar Lowy, the narrow gauge engine. Scar Lowy first came to my railway a hundred years ago. Read about the troubles he had when he was brand new and couldn't stop bouncing up and down. Scar Lowy worked on the little railway on the island of Sodor. He was a hundred years old, but he was still a useful engine. All the other engines liked Scarlowy, and he would tell them stories about when he was young. Everyone's favourite story was about the time Scarlowy first came to the little railway. Scarlowy was built at the same time as another engine called Rainus. They were both red with four wheels each. We look wonderful, said Scarlowy proudly. We will pull coaches and everyone will want to ride them replied Rainus. Scarlowy and Rainus were both going to work on the mountain line on the little railway, but Scarlowy was finished first, so he had to go to the little railway alone, leaving Rainus behind. The two engines felt sad when they said goodbye to each other. Scarlowy was sent away on a ship. It was very wobbly. At the port, they used the ship's crane to lift Scarlowy on the shore. The ship's crane were called derricks, and they were nearly turned Scarlowy upside down. How dare they treat me like this, said Scarlowy crossly. He was left hanging from the derricks for a long time. At last, an engine arrived to take him to the mountain line. About the time, huffed Scarlowy. It was dark when Scarlowy arrived at the mountain line. He felt lonely and miserable. I wish Rainus was here, he said sadly. Next morning there were traps everywhere. They rattled and roared past Scarlowy. There's no engine pulling them, said Scarlowy in surprise. The traps come down the mountain by gravity, explained the manager. But the empty ones need taking up again. That's why you've come. What? said Scarlowy crossly. I don't want to pull trucks. I pull coaches, sir. Certainly not, said the manager. We have finished building this line, and for that we need trucks. The inspector is coming to look at the line soon. Scarlowy was furious. When the workman tried to start him, his fire wouldn't burn. He made no steam. He just blew smoke. They tried again the next day, and the next day, and the next day, but Scarlowy wouldn't do a thing. Finally, the manager lost his temp te temper. We're not going to look at your scully face all day, Scarlowy, he said. We'll leave you alone until you're a better engine. They covered Scarlowy with a big sheet. A tarpaulin went, went all the way over him. Scarlowy felt even more lonely and unhappy. Nobody talked to him. At last, the manager came back. I hope you will be better engine from now on, he said. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, said Scarlowy earnestly. From then on, Scarlowy worked very hard, and although he sometimes got too excited and would become bounce up and down, the manager was very pleased with his efforts. By the time Rainus arrived at time, at last, the line was ready. Scalario was delighted to see his old friend. Rainus soon settled in. One day, while he was shunting trucks, Scalario hurried up to him. I'm going to pull the inspector's train today, said Scalario. Be careful not to bounce, said Rainus. The inspector went like that. Scalario was so excited, he just couldn't stop bouncing. Scalario had to take the inspector up to the top of the mountain and then back down. The upward journey went well, and Scarlowy felt very happy. When it was time to go down, Scarlowy was really excited. As they went faster and faster, he began to bounce. The coaches were scared. He's playing tricks, they said. Bump him, bump him. Just then, Scarlowy gave a big, extra big bounce, and the inspector lost his footing. He flew into the bush on the sideline. Driver stopped the train. The inspector was not hurt. 
but he was very cross. From now on, you will stay in the shed, he said to Scully. You are a bad engine. When the inspector told the manager what happened, the manager felt sorry for Scarlowe. He knew that he had been trying very hard to be good, but Scarlowe needs is a, an extra pair of wheels, he said. Then he won't be bouncy anymore, so Scarlowe was sent off to the works. When Scarlowe came back, Rainus hardly recognised him. He had six wheels and a brand new cab, and he looked very smart. Now let's see what you can do, said the manager. Sure enough, Scarlowe found it much easier to travel along smoothly without bouncing. From then on, Scarlowe pushed coaches and trucks up and down that track as easy as anything. He didn't bounce his passengers once, and a hundred years later, he is still as good as new. The end.